The Oscar nominations are out, and four movies are dominating this year's awards. I, I, I know we're supposed to read through these. Joyce Cole Haywick is sitting here. <laughs> Pause. Joyce Cole Haywick is sitting next to me right now. Listen, I can't even believe I'm sitting here. I feel like I never left. Everyone is so excited. Yeah. Everyone has been talking about this oh, for days. I'm so excited. Fun. This is 15 years of pent up broadcast TV energy right here. <laughs> oh my okay, God. Here oh, we go. Get ready. Yeah, yeah get uh, ready, everybody. Oppenheimer, 13 nods. Poor Things, 11. Killers of the Flower Moon, 10. And of course, fan favorite Barbie coming away uh, with 11. So we just want to break down. Can we just start with what everyone is talking about, which mm. is Barbie? Yeah. I mean, uh, Greta Gerwig and Margot Robbie both missed out on nominations. What's your take on that? Yeah, everybody's upset, even Ken. I mean, we've seen, <laughs> we've seen yes. Ryan Gosling's statement this morning. Um, you know, it's a very interesting thing about Barbie. Obviously, there are 10 Best Picture nominees, and there are only five Best Director nominees. So people are going to be left out. That happens every single year. I think it's too simplistic to say that this is just, you know, sexist, whatever. But, you know, in the year 2024, when women are still fighting for equal pay for equal work, yeah, that's not so far-fetched. But I think, really, the crux of it is that, um, you know, Greta's movie... While it's, um, it was a huge blockbuster to the tune of $1.4 billion. billion yeah. And it's about an iconic doll. And it's kind of a, a satire in a way. It's kind of a comedy, but it's also about something really serious. Yeah. And I think maybe the people who voted missed that. You know, it's really about women and men and our roles and how society, you know, deals with us and how the, the lives we design for ourselves. And right. Greta ushers that into the 21st century. Mm. And I, I think it might have been easy to overlook mm -hmm. the seriousness of, you know, of the film. But one of the great things that movies did this year was that they were both entertaining and serious. Mm. I mean, I, I thought it was an exceptional year for movies. I mean, we got people to sit through a three-hour movie mm. on a theoretical physicist, Robert <laughs> Oppenheimer, <laughs> right? right? right yeah. And it was also a huge hit. So I think people are ready for something, uh, something more meaty. But I think Barbie got caught in that. And Margot Robbie, that role was way harder and more subtle than anybody gave her credit and for. And she made that movie happen. She, she and did. She and Greta together were the forces behind well, it. Well, exactly. So Greta's got nominated for screenplay, which she wrote. And her handprints are all over this. Yeah. Wildly imaginative, incredibly original. This is a vision that was beautifully executed. To so, yeah. Um, there was some history made as far as in the female nominations because the first ever Native American actress was nominated. Yes, Lily Gladstone, who's extraordinary. She is in Killers of the Flower Moon, and just her presence in that movie is, she seems to embody the sad, deep, and tragic history of what that film is about, basically the Osage tribe being robbed of their oil-rich lands by the government and the white people who put them there not realizing what was there and then ended up stealing it and it's been buried forever and the film does an incredible job of telling that story and excavating that history and lily is the center of it just looking at her um, she is uh, mysterious and deep and um, and beautiful and i think she's going to walk away with that oscar two final questions one yeah. Who do you think should win Best Picture, and which do you think will end up winning Best Picture? I think it's going to be Oppenheimer, and I hope it is Oppenheimer. While many of these movies that were nominated are wonderful, Oppenheimer is a true masterpiece. It, it deals with, uh, you know, the fallout, the ramifications of unleashing nuclear power, and it, it makes us look at how we wield power in our lives. And also, Killian Murphy's in it. So, of course. <laughs> Liam's doppelganger. Hello. That's what people say. You know, I don't know. He reminds I was me so much of that. Liam. I was just thinking that. But I mean, that's a, he's in almost every scene. And yeah. you double for him, don't you? I do. Yeah. I do. I'm a stunt, stunt double, big time. No, Oppenheimer's the it's film. It, and it, it's going to be hard to beat. What does it have? It's got 13 nominations. Yeah. It's going to win a lot. Robert Downey Jr., phenomenal. Mm -hmm. I've never seen him better. So um, yeah, that, that's the movie to, to beat. I would also steer people to American fiction, poor things, and also the zone of interest. So many good movies. Oh my gosh. So many. Joyce. That's the biggest surprise of the year. Thank you for being <laughs> You're here. You're very welcome. Thank Brianna, you. Liam. We'll be right back.